I'm the youngest of five. So when, when there was food, it's like, man, I got to get that piece of pie. I got to get that piece of cake. It might not be there when I'm done. I'm, I may not be able to go back for seconds. So I'm going to pile everything on my plate right now, right? And this is what happened. This is the poverty mentality that we have a lot of times with our money. We say, I got to go get it. I got to have it right now. And we're used to just saying, oh man, I grew up with nothing. Now I have a job making $50,000 a year, $80,000 a year, six figures, whatever it is. Now I got to go get something. Oh, as soon as I make money, I'm going to go get that brand new car that I've always looked at and saw in the magazine. Because now I got the money, I got to go get it. Because that type of mentality means that every time you make more, you're going to spend more. And if every time you make more, you spend more, you'll never have nothing. You'll never have enough. Because you make more, you spend more. What I try to tell people to do is make more, spend the same. Make even more, spend the same. Now you're making $150,000 a year, you're still spending like you make $30,000, $40,000 a year. And now you got a big old cushion in between your expenses and your income, and now you can invest like crazy because you got out of the habit of make more spend more but a lot of times people that grew up with not a lot they overcompensate when they start having stuff or when they start having the ability to most of you know somebody like this they didn't grow up with much as soon as they started making money what did they start doing started buying stuff started buying whatever they could buy not understanding that you're just overcompensating because you never had much growing up, right? So we got to get out of that. that. That's just a lifetime of struggle in terms of money that's waiting to happen. You got to be able to tell yourself no. If you can't tell yourself no, prepare to struggle with money the rest of your life. I said it. If you can't tell yourself no, you're going to struggle with money the rest of life because every time you make money, you're going to spend money. Money's going to do what? What do we all say? We always say money is going to burn a hole in your pocket. You got it in your pocket. You got to spend it. You got it in your pocket, you got to spend it. And trust me, I've been there. Again, grew up with nothing, so I understand now I can go buy anything I want to buy in the store. I have to stop myself to say, don't buy it. Don't do that. Chill out. Just because you have money doesn't mean you got to spend the money, right? Listen, you don't have to have a fancy car or a big old house or designer clothes to be a million, just because you're a million, to be a million. You don't have to have all that stuff. In fact, People that are who are obsessed with having material things are usually less likely to become wealthy. So my thing is focus on investing your money and building your assets and lowering your liabilities as opposed to always having to have something, as opposed to immediate gratification. Try employing some delayed gratification in your life. Remember this, guys. It takes time. Time is, is, is underrated as far as I'm concerned when it comes to money. Time is underrated. It takes time to invest. It takes time to build wealth. They call it building wealth because you actually have to build it, right? It takes time to build it for most of us. Most of us are not inheriting, inheriting $100,000 from parents, $50,000 from grandparents. Most of us are not doing that. So for 99.9% .9 of us, it's going to take some time and it's going to be a process. Rich is a process. Wealth is a process. Having something is a process. You've got to go through the process. Part of the process is delaying gratification. If you have to be gratified right now, immediately, well, you know what's going to happen? You're going to be running to every get rich quick scheme that you can get your hands on and you find. Somebody's going to be able to sell you some snake oil. They're going to be able to sell you a box of Cheerios and call it donut seeds, right? You're going to be taken in by every scheme that comes your way because you cannot delay gratification and you don't want to allow the process to happen. There's no shortcuts to wealth. There's no shortcuts to wealth. I don't care what they tell you on that podcast that you watch every day or you listen to every day or on Spotify. I don't care what they tell you on any of that stuff that you see. Those advertisements you get that come through your feed on IG and TikTok, wherever you are, right? There's no shortcuts to wealth. Doesn't happen. Everybody that's a millionaire has a story. Now listen, yes, there are trust fund babies out there that get inherited money. They're out there. I'm not saying they're not. But the vast, vast majority of, of us, we're not going to get to wealth by shortcuts. Shortcuts really in terms of money and wealth, shortcuts... I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it. Shortcuts are for lazy people that don't want to put in the work, that don't want to go through the process. 
that don't want to delay gratifications, looking for a shortcut. And what happens is you make yourself susceptible to scams, to being scammed, because you think there's a shortcut to getting a hundred thousand dollars in the in, in invested in the stock market. You think there's a shortcut to get to having and owning 10 rental properties. I like to be, listen, I like to be honest, straight up with you guys. I don't like to pull punches or fake the funk or play games. I don't want to toy with your mind. None of that. I'm not trying to make things sound better than they are. Building wealth is a process and it takes time. And if you're not willing to put in the time, try to find a get rich scheme. I'm pretty optimistic. I'm not pessimistic. I'm a pretty optimistic person. But I like to be honest and upfront, right? If you're looking for short shortcuts, hey, I'm not the guy that's going to teach you or show you how to day trade and make $20,000 today. I'm just, I'm probably not that person, right? I want you to be above average, but you, I want you to understand the process. When you understand the process of building wealth and you understand the importance of building a strong foundation, what's a strong foundation with money? Having an emergency fund, paying off your debt, not taking on new debt on anything going down in value, only building your assets, things going up in value, doing a net worth statement once a month, doing a written unique budget every single month, revisiting that budget to make sure you're on track. That's, those are foundational things. They're not, they're not sexy. They're not pretty. They're not fancy. They may not get me a lot of likes on YouTube, but it's what you should be doing. And it's what somebody should be telling you you should be doing instead of trying to take, you know, get you to believe that somehow you can make a shortcut to, to building wealth and you can get rich quick. Getting rich, trying to get rich quick, keep you poor quick. Right? Instead of get rich quick, you're going to get poor quick. I don't want you to take the easy way out. I want you to do it, but I want you to do it the right way so you build a strong foundation. <clears throat> I'm not saying you're supposed to struggle. I'm saying you're supposed to put in the work and do the stuff and go through the process and it takes time and don't look for ways to get around doing stuff you got to delay gratification you have to have the patience to build wealth and a lot of people they don't have the patience they want it now and because they want it now those are the ones you see getting scammed if you do what's hard <clears throat> life's gonna be easy I don't know who said that right if you do what's hard life is easy but if you insist on always doing what's easy, life is going to be harder. That's it. They lied to you when they told you that you can have it all. You can't have it all. You really can't have it all. you got to sacrifice some things, guys, to get to where you want to go. I hope I didn't step on any toes in this, in this live, guys. I don't mean to step on your toes. I just want to give it to you the way that I know is effective, which is straight up. No beating around the bush. No, no making it look like, right? I don't want to put lipstick on a pig. Is that what the saying is, right? I got all these sayings in my head. I don't know exactly how to say them. I don't want to put lipstick on a pig, right? I want to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you what I believe is the truth, right? My opinion on what the truth is after these all these years of building wealth. I had to build my wealth. I pulled mine up out of the gutter, right? From nothing, zero, below nothing. And I was a grown adult person. I wasn't no... A uh, poor child. I was a poor child, but I was still poor when I was 30. I didn't have anything handed down to me. I had to figure this thing out on my own. Now what I do on this YouTube channel on, YouTube, on Smart Money Bro on, on YouTube is I try to help other people figure it out before they get to be 30 or even when they're 50. So again, don't be mad at me, but I hope you guys got something of value out of this video, something you can share. Don't forget, free stuff is in the description box. People that put YouTube videos up, they put stuff in that description box that's helpful. And a lot of times people kind of skirt over it. There's some good stuff down there. So check that stuff out. The best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you. Guys, take good care of yourself and also take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.